Hello, soon to be graduates. Can you believe you can almost call yourself a college graduate at Seattle Colleges? We're so excited for you. And we can't wait to celebrate with you and your family at T-Mobile Park, where we gather graduates from North Seattle College, Seattle Central College, and South Seattle College each year at the end of June to hold the Seattle College's commencement ceremony. Seattle College's commencement is your opportunity to put on the traditional academic regalia, a cap, tassel, and gown, and sometimes a cord or stole to designate the honors you've earned and participate in a ceremony that marks your rite of passage as a college graduate. You can invite your family and friends who supported you, and they can cheer you on as your name is called and you take your walk across the stage and are recognized for your accomplishments. It's a wonderful moment, and I hope you're looking forward to it. It's one of my favorite days of the year. Today, we'll be going over the steps to register and prepare for commencement. My name is Rexel, and I'll be your guide. The first step is to apply for graduation. Graduation is the official process of earning your degree or certificate. Apply for graduation through your college registration office. They will check to make sure all your degree or program requirements have been met. Once you apply for graduation, check your inbox for an email from commencement at seattlecolleges.edu in mid-May. Eligible graduates will receive an email invitation to register for the commencement ceremony. Once you receive this email, you will be asked to create an account and password, and then you will log in to complete the registration process. Registering for commencement allows you to confirm that you plan to attend commencement, record your name to ensure it is pronounced correctly during the ceremony, and activate your grad pass, which is required to cross the stage. This is the registration form you will see when you log onto the website to complete the registration process for commencement. Once you have completed the registration process, you will receive an email confirming your successful registration. You will also be able to download your grad pass to save on your phone or print out as a backup. Keep an eye out for additional information and instructions that will be sent to you via email between mid-May to mid-June from commencement at seattlecolleges.edu. You will receive messages about ordering your cap and gown, schedule information for the ceremony, and details about transportation, parking, and the bag policy at T-Mobile Park. Now let's talk about commencement day. When you arrive at T-Mobile Park, all graduates must enter at the right field gate. Once you arrive, you'll be instructed to line up according to the first letter of your last name to pick up your grad pass. Your grad pass is a physical card with a unique QR code that you will need in order to walk across the stage during the commencement ceremony. Make sure to keep your grad pass with you. You'll be asked to scan your grad pass before you walk across the stage. When you reach the front of the line, give your full name to the table volunteer. If you have successfully registered for commencement, a grad pass will be ready for you to pick up. If you do not have a grad pass, or if your grad pass can't be located by the table volunteer, head to the No Grad Pass table, where someone will assist and create a grad pass for you. Once you've got your grad pass, continue down the student concourse and visit our selfie station, professional headshot station, concession stand, and the cap and gown table to pick up your grad button. Now, relax in designated stadium seating until it is time to line up for processional. Wait until your school is called. Graduates will line up for the processional in the following order. BAS students first, then North students, followed by Central students, and last but not least, South students. Line leaders will escort you to the field where you will process with your classmates to the graduate bleachers and remain there until it's time to cross the stage. Don't forget, make sure to keep your grad pass with you until you cross the stage during the ceremony. When your grad pass is scanned, your name will be heard over the stadium speakers and you will appear on the Jumbotron. This is your moment. Enjoy it. I hope this video has been helpful. Please visit seattlecolleges.edu forward slash commencement for more information and updates.
I'll see you soon.